Welcome to my presentation, The Interplay of Personality, Situations, Effect and Behavior. My name is Kai Hausmann and I graduated from Humboldt Universität in Berlin in 2018. Kurt Levine wrote in 1936, Even if all the laws of psychology were known, one could make a prediction about the behavior of the man only if, in addition to the laws, the special nature of the particular situation were known. And this has led Kurt Levine to state his famous equation, behavior is a function of the person in the environment. And to examine this, we need to know about behavior, but we also need to know about the person and the environment the person is currently in. So we have examined several questions. The first is, what is a situation and how can we measure a situation? The second was, how is the interpretation of a situation related to affect? We then asked ourselves, can the behavior of a person be explained by the perception of a situation? And finally, what is consistency, consistency across situations and how can it be examined? I would like to address two. questions in this presentation. First, we developed a taxonomy for the description of situations. Building on the lexical approach, we gave participants adjectives to rate their daily situations and we then factor analyzed those and came up with five dimensions that can be used to describe any situation in daily life or in an occupational setting. For example, outcome expectancy, how much you think you can gain from a situation, or briskness, how uh, vibrant a situation is. Other dimensions are cognitive load, psychological and physical load, and lack of stimuli. We then examined how we can use situation perception to predict behavior in daily life. And we did this in a pre-registered study where we asked participants to rate their momentary behavior in their daily lives, but also how they perceive the situation that they're currently in, as well as their affect and their mood. And we showed that when a per person perceives something as social, a situation as social, they show more extrovert behavior. But we could also show, and it was, this was not expected, that when a person perceives a situation as negative, they act less extroverted. We then, as we hypothesized, also included affect as an additional predictor. And you can see here on the right-hand side what happens if you include affect as an additional predictor of daily life when also predicting behavior with situation perception. In the upper right panel, you see that when a situation is perceived as social, the person will act more extroverted, even after controlling for the positive and negative effect. And in the lower right panel, you see that this is not true for negativity. So if a person perceives the situation as negative, they will not act more or less extroverted when you control for their negative or positive effect. And this means that the effect of situation perception on behavior can only be interpreted coherently after controlling for effect. So to summarize, we learned that we have the situation five, we know how to measure situation perception, and we also see that we can integrate different existing taxonomies of situation perception to form a great, greater nomological net of situation perception dimensions. We have also learned that effect and situation perception both explain variance in daily behavior, and that the effects of situation perception are specific, but only after controlling for effect. So thank you very much. I would like to thank my mentor and supervisor Matthias Ziegler as well as John Rautmann for their um, help in this dissertation. And you can see the link for the dissertation as well as my OSF website where you can find this in other presentations as well. Thank you very much.